Ziyun Crane 4 Professional Heavy Duty Gimbal is here. It combines the best feature of Weibo 3S and Crane M3S with the adjustable sidebar and rest for the best handling and the touchscreen for the best control. It has indicated lights in all three motors to tell you if the gimbal is balanced or not quickly. Look, the two axis right now is flashing red meaning we need to rebalance the gimbal for the best performance. Great features for beginners and even seasoned professionals. It brings back the magnetic tightening wrench right here, so you don't need to search for a coin whenever you switch cameras. And equipped with more powerful 3200 lux field light with 95 plus CRI and support native vertical filming for social media and Bluetooth camera control. This is a strong gimbal that can support your heavy camera package up to 7kg. In this video, I'm going to show you in detail how I built my VR camera package with quick release system, V-mount battery for all day filming, and with more monitoring system for director or clients, all on the Crane 4. You are going to learn a lot of hands-on knowledge to build your dream VR 1D camera rig. Let's start building! Before I show you this lightweight, awesome stabilization setup, let's talk about the new Ziyun Crane 4. Not like Weibo 3S, Crane 4 bring back the quick release system for most medium weight camera for easy rebalancing. It is a lot lighter than Crane 3S, like 30% lighter, but it still has the same low capacity. It has the same sling handle and wrist rest just like the Weibo 3S. The runtime is the same as Crane 3S but doesn't have interchangeable batteries, which is a bad news. If your internal battery is dead, you will need to buy a brand new gimbal. It is larger, so it supports bigger and heavier camera package. I can finally rig a big V-Log battery behind my Canon R5C right here and still get a full upward turn. It also has a vertical setup to turn heavy cinema camera vertically for social media content creation. But it takes a long time to rebalance, so I wouldn't recommend using that at all. It also has a 3200 Lux Pro level field light, more powerful than the Weibo 3S, so if you need light at night, the gimbal has you covered without additional help, which is always nice for running gun documentary filmmaking. The best feature of all is this LED ring on the motor. They tell you if your gimbal needs to rebalance for best performance. Since Crane 4 is a very powerful gimbal, it will level even the gimbal is not perfectly balanced. But it does not mean this is a good idea as it will affect your video stabilization quality. Now you know from the rings or from the balance page or your MIDI LCD. It has the same LCD screen as the Zuyin Crane M3S. It means the same feature of 260 photo capturing as Crane M3S as I point out in this review video. Crane 4 can carry very heavy long lens, meaning you can capture stunning gigapixel panorama on the new social media threads like this one. Oh, extra tips, you get seamless panorama when you zoom in on threads. Do 60 and panel photographer, don't sleep on it. Post your work there and tag me. As I mentioned in my Weibo 3S review video right here, investing in a more powerful gimbal is always a better idea as your skill growth. Even though the Crane 4 is more than double the price of the Weibo 3S, 
you can probably land more professional job with this professional gimbal setup. Do you agree? Let's discuss on threads. If you are a VR warranty filmmaker, now I'm gonna teach you how to build my professional stabilization setup so you can be run and gun and be more efficient. So here's all my toy. First, this is my camera, my Canon R5C right here. I have a cage with it. It's the U9Z F50 cage. Provide me a quick release system, raking system. I can rake a lot of accessory and cage on it. So the benefit of uh, using this cage is now my main setup is actually my tripod, which you see on this head right here. It's an F50 plate on a Noto Ninja level head. So basically, in general, I just gotta put my camera, quick release, on a tripod and film, 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 film. And then when I'm ready to, for gimbal setup, I get out and put this on my other F50 plate, a smaller one. And this got marked on my gimbal right here, the crane 4, and then Boom, and then we are ready to go. But you don't need the cage or even this plate. The reason why is the crane plate is the universal man photo plate, meaning that this is the plate. This is see, this is the Zi Yun plate. Uh, the Zi Yun uh, uh, plate right here. I take out the quick release because quick release does not work on a special camera setup. So I take them all out, take all the screw out. So this plate actually go right into my fell cam release right there see that boom look it's universal so potentially I can just mount this plate right here I just mount this plate on directly without a cage onto my Canon R5C and that is a setup that I can be in the change on the gimbal and on a tripod this is a lighter setup and I also use this setup as well uh, for for now I kind of want the camera have a cage because I gotta rig other stuff into the camera, like remote monitoring system, like the Mars M1 right here. Uh, that is by Holy Land. That one is we gonna put screw into this plate so I can mount my quick release, the Felcam at 50 small square plate right here. So what you will need is actually come with the Zhiyun package. Is a 3A screw right here. I want a fat one, 3A screw, so it can really secure the plate. And then I also gonna have a 1-4 right here. A tiny screw, which we gonna mount the battery plate right here, pair with this battery right here, the V160 Vlot battery uh, by ZG Sin right here, really solid battery, cinema battery right here, and you can last all day of filming. So let me show you how to do that. So uh, first put the little screw in here. Let me just stand up and show you the rest. Put it in here first. And then next thing is we're gonna screw, we're gonna screw the, this part in. Let's make sure that you can see it. Do the 3A fast screw right here and then go in right now. And then uh, we gonna mount the F60 plate right here. Uh, remember that we have a uh, kind of like a one wrench right here, like it's a quarter, basically like Magnum uh, high behind the, the Zhiyun Crane gimbal. Uh, I'm trying to just want to mount it around right here. And this lift it loose right now. And that is the plane, and that is where I'm gonna put the camera on top. Now stand up the Zhu Yun Crane 4 gimbal right here. Uh, it's locked, so I unlock it. I'm gonna put my can in on quick release. So you gotta hold it and push it in. Lock. It's quick release, right? Get the display out so we can see it. So there are two optional rig battery here. First, I teach you the lightweight option. Uh, you don't need to buy a fancy, uh, I don't know how to call it, this is a conversion plane, a V-mount plane. So you put a V-mount battery right here, any V-mount battery can power literally all devices. Very powerful stuff uh, for cinema. Uh, that's what, what I would recommend it. This whole system. Right so this whole system is what I would recommend it because it will power any camera forever. Uh, but again, 
you don't need to do that. All you need to do for Canon, because the Canon R5 C can be powered by a regular 60 watt power bank. So all you need is a cell phone clamp right here. A cell phone clamp that have a one four hole right here on the base or on the bottom. So I have both so I can raise up on top of it. So it's very convenient. So all I need is put this plate. We'll put a washer so I don't like to strip my screw. So I'll put a washer in right here. Just so any washer will be fine. So I don't strip. And then you can just screw this part, this cell phone holder in. And then you can put in anything. Right? You can put in a cell phone right here if you want to just look at the cell phone. Uh, or you can put in an actual battery. So the battery I've used this on this one, we're going to use a smaller one, not this one. I'm going to use the Moment. And then I Pro is one of the best battery that I found, a V-mount, a v log battery that have a USB, let me see right here, show you, that have a USB-C PD power, so we're using this to power the camera, not the V-log, not the D-tab, uh, this thing can last pretty sure half day, and then two of them will be good to go, and another good thing is they, they have this little, little like indent right here, perfect for grip on, you see actually the mark right here, by the cell phone clamp right here, this side, go up, Boom. So this is like a mini cinema rig already, right now, right? Handheld rig right there to film. But again, this not only serves as a counter rate for balance on the gimbal, but also you can power like D-tab, but right here we're gonna use a USB-C to power the camera. There you go. So that is a mini cinema rig on my Canon R5C. But again, I gotta put this on the gimbal. The second setup, we're gonna provide an actual play the ZG Sin plate right here, let me see it. That actually with a PD power, 60 watt power, USB-C, all this voltage right here, 12, 14 OA, and also 8.4, so power any audio, devi audio devices, and then have an on and off button and D-tap right here, so you can literally power everything on your cinema setup. So it's really good. Uh, this plate actually have a uh, one four screw in the base bottom. So I can just tie this, screw this directly onto the same setup. It's just you. This is more accurate because this is a professional plate, right? It's not just a cell phone clamp that you can get on Amazon <laughs> uh, for like $3. So this is a more a cinema setup more professional and the weight distribution is more accurate and we not run around. So if you're using a same VLOG battery, again, uh, you might swap VLOG battery and might change the weight a little bit. But this is, to me, is a more cinema setup. So now you just put the battery in. Boom. A lot heavier, obviously, uh, because it's a big battery and big play, uh, but this can last you all day. Because we're gonna use the benefit of the Zhu Ukraine uh, for right here, this thing can hold up to 7 kg weight, so very heavy cinema rig, so that's why I want to build a very heavy cinema rig to really utilize the full feature of the zoom crane right here. So this is camera system is built, and now we're just going to put it on the system. Uh, let's for now, put it in, and go ahead and slide this whole system in. Now. We are gonna level the system. Uh, it's, it's heavy, so do we need to take this cap off before you level? So first, I'm tie this. Hold on, first we just lock this, so we're not sliding around. So we're gonna level on this side. So be very careful, okay? Uh, because now it's system is heavy. Top heavy. Great, lock it. This is the hardest part actually to level, to tighten up. So lift the whole system up. So make sure there's not like weight on this area and then tighten it up and then you let go. Second thing is front and forward. So it's already level. Last thing is uh, unlock this part. So obviously this is very hairy. So it's 
still left heavy. Keep moving it. Okay, and I'm good now. Okay, perfect. Last, I just unlock this one. Make sure lean on this side. It's front heavy. Push it back. Okay, pre level already. Boom, lock it. So the system's pre level. Again, this one. Also, make sure you put on all accessory before you like, start level stuff. But that might change thing. You want to put the cable in. There. Boom. It's still level. Great. So now, moment of truth, right? Let's turn on the gimbal. Let's see if it's actually level. You get a burger, Cam. You get a burger. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's on. So first step is go ahead and hit balance. You can see my screen right here. See, it get full clearance. You can you can like literally do an under sling with this giant battery setup. So that's why I love the crane for because it's so big, it's so much clearance. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, first, I'm gonna go on setting and do auto calibration to make sure it calibrates your new weight. Because now it's so heavy, the torch has to be stronger. So that's what you're gonna use on this gimbal and just do a calibration. You see right here, doing calibration. So now I have a stronger torch, so you can hold the weight easily. Great. Uh, so now calibration is successful. That. Look at that. This is a last all day Canon R5C Cinema Rig right here. So. Now we have power. The second thing we want is we want to see the camera feed right here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna use the holy land right here, the Mars 4K. Let me just put the gimbal on the side. The Mars M1, the Mars 4K right here, so have a remote monitoring. So director will basically. This is just another one of those play, uh, VTAP play. And I can put a battery in it to power my monitor. I'll show you. So that's just a regular VLOG battery. It's on right now. Uh, but now I have no video signal. So now we gotta hook out our transmitter. This is the transmitter, this is the receiver. Yeah, this receiver. This is for an other display, uh, which on set. But this one director usually we're holding it and walk around to uh, direct, right? And this one, what we're gonna do is rig on the crane fall right there because that's the standard. So again, I have right here is the Felcam F22. I love the little guy, the little guy quick release. Just a little plate right here. I can go underneath. Okay, let me go ahead and borrow the, <laughs> this is very helpful. Like the, the little like coin, Underneath the crane fall, uh, I use it a lot because I just I never uh, I can never find a quarter on set. Uh, it's hard to ask my AC for a quarter all the time. So now I have that built into my gimbal, so I can just use it to screw in everything. So everything is just uh, universal. You can just use this to tie in anything, right? So this now with quick release. The other end, I put a one four one four right here. As you see right here, I just like. Screw it in. But now I have a quick release system. This can quickly go in here, but when I go into tripod mode, I can quick release from here. I should show you. Hold on. Get the other way, sorry. Boom. So it's locked right there, right there. Again, I let this in camera. You probably need to move it out the way. Move it out of the way, right? Uh, but when you're done with gimbal, you want to bring it in the tripod system. I can just hope, quick release it. And then I have another one of this on my tripod. I'm just park it by in and ready to go on that system. So it's very quite, very fast. Everything quick release very fast. And you never need to worry about wasting time on set to uh, change from setup to setup. And that is the key. Time saving is very important on set in Hollywood, right? Director, producer paying uh, 
thousands of thousands of dollars per second on a film set, talent and everything, right? So you have to work fast as a DP. So that's why everything I have here is quick release. So now it's locked right there. And then next thing is we want to send a video signal out. So let me go ahead and actually get a mini. So all my, I have a toolkit behind me. So what I need here is a mini HDMI to HDMI converter cable right here. Tiny one from small rig. So one end go in here, the other end go in my system. Right here into my camera. Again, I you should also have something to secure the system right here. I don't have it today because I want to show a case to you. Uh, and then just go ahead. This need power, right? So right here, uh, you should have a shoulder cable. You should find a cable actually work uh, just in the wide length. Uh, but right now, I don't have that. So this thing can power literally anything. Wait, hold on. Wrong direction. Uh, you put in the USB-A. Because it provides 5 watt output. And then just plug this thing in here. Again, organize your cable. Uh, but for demonstration purpose, I just like, you know, plug in for now. Uh, you should buckle tie this on the system to make it safe. But as you see right now, if you can see on camera, the system is turning on. As you see right here, uh, the whole land. Let me see if it turned on already. Yeah, it turned on, has video signal. So go ahead and turn your camera on. So immediately, I'll show you. Boom. Move thing out of the way. And two minutes stop here. But now you see this bay right here. It's wireless. This 4K monitor received 4K signal from the mini HDMI into the Mars 4K right here. And then director can hold this monitor around. And remote, this this is very far range as well. He can hide somewhere in the distance out of the frame to really like look at what the talent perform. Again, you can zoom if you can't see it, you can zoom in. So now you can only see one lens, so you focus on a talent's performance because this has zoom feature on this uh, Mars 4K, uh, M1, sorry, uh, Mars, Mars M1 uh, display right here. So now we have remote signal coming from, and director can sit somewhere in a distance, can monitoring, and then you as a camera operator, put this on a gimbal soup, and then just, you know, walk around. So now I just go in and out. That's the direction you should go anyway, in and out for your whole camera setup. So yeah, that is my whole system. And then when you're done with gimbal, I can turn this thing off very fast. It's off right now. Go ahead and pop everything, turn the camera on. And since the whole system is a quick release, right? You can just like tie this up, boom, the whole camera will get out. I leave the battery there. And now I'll put this whole tiny system onto here. And it's on the tripod. Now you can have a tripod shot right there. So that is the power of solid quick release in the cinema setup. So you can quick swap in a different system and achieve different shot in a very efficient, efficient way. I hope you learned something today. I'm filming VR 180 again. Uh, if you appreciate this like, live section, live build session to build uh, the system, and if you appreciate my effort, uh, don't forget to you know uh, give me a like and drop me a thank you comment down below. This setup wouldn't be possible to transport without a big backpack. The whole Crane 4 build can fit in my new PGY Tech 1 Mode 2 35 liter backpack. Not a sponsored video, just love this backpack and want to give them a shout out. If you'd like to pack up your whole studio on set, or like Kitty here, pack up her whole life on just a 2 miles hike, then the 1 Mode 2 is perfect for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to learn more tips and tricks in VR filmmaking. With the release of Apple Vision Pro, mastering this new storytelling medium will be crucial for your business. If you want to be one of the pioneers, check out this VR One D Masterclass series right here and learn as much as you can. If you want to get inspired, check out our original VR One D production right here in your VR headset. I will see you next time or on Threads. Stay creative, my friends.